All right. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today I got another video for you guys. And this time it's a Photoshop tutorial. A lot of you guys on the Facebook community always ask whether or not I use a diffusion filter. And sometimes I do, uh, but a lot of times like some of my photos, that you see, it's all done in post. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it too with just uh, Adobe Photoshop. So it's very quick. You're gonna learn this in like two, three, maybe five steps. I forgot to mention, but this effect right here is called the Orton effect. It's used by a lot of photographers. You can use it for anything. Uh, a lot of landscape photographers like using this technique. I use it on my portraits to make it look dreamy. And if you don't do it right, it could look overdone. So when using this technique, right, make sure to use it in a subtle way. So we're just gonna get started right away, starting with this photo with my lovely wife here in Hawaii. And what you wanna do is press Command J to duplicate that layer. After that, you want to go into the filter and then go to blur and don't go to Gaussian blur. I don't recommend going any higher than 20. I'm gonna keep it at 19 so you guys can see what's on the screen, okay? So we're gonna press okay once we pick our number of pixels. And after you got the Gaussian blur, what you wanna do is change it to screen. And you can already tell that this is like a very super diffused look. From here, it looks a little too dreamy for my taste. So what we can do is we can come in here and then we can adjust the op opacity like 60%. So that looks a lot better. So in the end, this is what you have. So this is a before and this is after. If that looks too diffuse for you, again, you can always adjust it to taste, uh, adjust it to whatever um, settings you like. So I think 40% is good. It ha she has that dreamy look to it. And then from here, I would say it's done. This looks like a complete image for me. So it's very simple. What you do is you duplicate the layer, you go up to the top layer, and then you change it to Gaussian blur. And after that, you change the, the blending mode to screen. And then from there, you just adjust the opacity. Hey guys, future tongue here. I just wanna chime in and say that the first part you saw was the quick and dirty. This is how I would use the Orton effect. But in the next part of the video, it's gonna involve a, a layer mask and a paintbrush for the people that want a little bit more control and only want to paint in certain areas to be affected by the Orton effect. Okay, here we go. We're gonna go into the next photo and then we're gonna do rinse and repeat this but we're gonna add another step to it it's golden hour the sunset is going down and i think there's a lot more we can do to this again what we what are we going to do we are going to command j to duplicate the layer and then we're going to go into gaussian blur and then ga gaussian blur and then i'm going to keep it at 19 and then we're going to go here and press screen this is a little bit too dreamy for me. It also it almost looks very painterly. For some people, you may, you guys may like this in your shot. I prefer not to keep it this way. So what we're going to do after this, we're gonna add a curves adjustment. We're gonna um, just brighten up the highlights even more. But don't worry because it's gonna look really good afterwards. And from here, we're gonna click down here so that click this button right here so that the curves adjustment will only affect the top layer, not the entire photo. So that's very key. And what we wanna do is go back to our top layer and then add a mask. We're gonna press Control I to invert it. We're just gonna paint in the stuff that we want to paint in. So we're gonna press B to change the brush and then change it to white and then we're gonna paint in the highlights. So I just want the highlight, not, nothing else. So we're gonna paint this in right here and we're gonna go down here, whoops. And then paint this little edge right here. And you can already see that it looks a little bit too much, but that's okay because what we're going to do is just dial it back through the opacity layers. And I think that's good. We're gonna try to paint these people in as well. So from there, we're just gonna go and just drag down the opacity. Just adjust it to taste. So whatever you're feeling, just adjust it to taste. And then there you go. Very simple, very easy. I'm going to go down to like 50%, see how that looks. Here's the before, and this is the after, where it only affected the, the area that I painted in. So. Um, 
that's how you get more control out of your photo if you don't want the entire photo to look very very dreamy by using this method to just paint in your highlights you can leave the other parts untouched and that's how you get a little bit more control with your uh, Orton effect. And that's about it. I hope you guys learned something in this video. It's a short and quick tutorial. And if you do it enough time, just rinse and repeat like I just did. Just Command J, Gaussian Blur, change the opacity to screen. You, are, you, will, uh, you will be on your way there to have your photo looking very dreamy and looking like you bought a diffusion, uh, diffusion, looking like you bought a diffusion filter. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And I hope you guys learned something uh, from this video. Let me know uh, what you guys think of this video. And um, that is it for me, guys. Hope you guys like this one. Uh, my name is Tung and I'll see you in the next video. I love you.